Captain. Welcome home, sir. Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? <laughs> As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichibang? Oh, mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but... I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The Sixth Chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved, too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. Then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. 
which leads us to Sotembori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo, weakened, spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes, and he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here, and we can make our announcement. Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited! We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD! I know, most of you are none too happy about it, so listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo? This kind of brawl? Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Let's make it one to remember! Yes. 
this time. <laughs> I knew you weren't really gone. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. Seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. You're going down. Well, you're gonna be in a on this side. Take this. Take this. Yeah. Eyes on me. Take your best shot. You're gonna get stomped. To call a prince! I summon you! Let's go! It's on now! Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. Hey, Ichi. Arakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed, and... 
So happy you survived all this, Ichi. Harukawa-san! <laughs> <laughs> 